Hello, welcome to the Cambridge Assessment Podcast. I'm Alana Walden and I'm here to introduce a special series from Cambridge Assessments, Archives and Heritage. In each episode, our group archivist Gillian Cook shares short extracts from Examining the World, a history of the University of Cambridge Local Examination Syndicate, our publication that shares a unique insight into the history of exams. Introducing the General Certificate of Education from Examining the World, Chapter 3 by Helen and John Patrick. As part of the drive for reconstruction in the years following the Second World War, the education system was developed and reorganised. Despite the huge pressures on resources, provision was made for secondary school places for all children over the age of 11, and in 1947 the school leaving age was raised to 15. The possibility of staying on at school to take external examinations at age 16 and beyond was opened up to a great many more pupils. The new General Certificate of Education exams were scheduled to begin in 1950, but the Minister soon realised that this would not allow enough time to make the necessary changes and postponed their introduction until 1951. The syndicate prepared for the new examinations and set up a special committee, but a feature of the new system was greater central control and coordination with examining body representatives removed from the Secondary School Examinations Council. The examining bodies set about trying to remedy the situation, and in 1951 the syndics were able to report the appointment of a new advisory committee, which reported regularly and directly to the council. At the same time, a change was made in the syndicate's examination administration. In 1944, a school examinations committee, with school and local education authority representatives, had been set up for an experimental period to oversee the syndicate's UK exams. This had proved so successful that it was incorporated into the permanent structure of the syndicate. The syndicate found that the GCE attracted more candidates, students who might have balked at the requirements of the school certificate or higher school certificate, felt able to attempt one or two subjects in the new examination. Although the syndicate had more candidates, there were fewer subject entries per candidate, and at advanced level there were around a third more candidates in 1951 than had taken the higher school certificate the year before. Thank you for listening to the Cambridge Assessment Podcast. You can find more of our podcasts on our website, just search for Podcast Gallery, or you can find us on YouTube, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Oh.